Hi, I'm Patrick at Roof Life of Oregon. You know, when you're in the roofing maintenance business for 33 years, you, you run through so many homeowners in trying to help them that you run across the ones that have had not good experiences with roof maintenance. So here's the normal one. Well, we have put that powder stuff that we got at the big box store up there at least 10 times, but it just doesn't seem to stop it. All right, so those people successfully got up on their roof spread their $180 worth of powder everywhere and then and then went up there three months later and it's still the same. And they got back up there and did it again and apparently they did it five times and they got up on their roof and got off and didn't, didn't have an incident. The thing people don't understand about when I'm going to take care of my roof on my own and not hire someone who's trained to do it, I, I kind of remember getting taking, I was taken on a fishing trip on the lower Deschutes River, just up the Columbia Gorge. And when we went up the river, there's huge mountains on the left side, really steep cliffy mountains. And I, and I was looking over there, I thought, hey, there's, there's animals over there. And what they are is they're mountain goats. And the mountain goats seem to be very, very at home on really steep ledges. And they can run, jump, skip, hop, and they just are right at home. Of course, Every once in a while, there's a dead one at the bottom, but not too often. They've really adapted to being on a sloped environment and thriving. You don't realize it, but when you are a flatlander, when you're just walking around helping people on the ground and being in your corporate job or whatever job it is, your mind is used to operating on a level. But as soon as you put a ladder on a slope and you strap it to a gutter and you try to get off the ladder onto the roof, um, there's something that happens in the average brain and that's where accidents happen. As a matter of fact, 97% of all roof accidents happen on that transition, getting on and off the roof. Most people, if they have a low slope roof, they go, I, don't, I, I feel just comfortable getting on that roof. Here's the thing that's the dark secret. Most people will get busy focusing on the roof and they back off the roof. So we've had lots of people break their backs, break their necks, uh, just backing off of the roof. Other times people uh, are getting on and off uh, the, the ladder and they, they just lose their balance, just a flash of a second, and down they go and they get their leg tangled in the ladder rungs and, or their arms and they break their arms, their collarbones, they break their legs. Sometimes they lose a limb. We found people that have lost limbs in these incidences. These are huge expenses. Huge. So you say, well, I might be tempted to say, hey, Mr. Gardner, he's coming to your house, your best buddies with him. Why don't you uh, get up on my roof and blow those leaves off the roof before you blow them out of my flower beds? And then, you know, it'll look better longer. And as soon as you say that, he goes, sure. And he goes up there and he's using your ladder and he goes up on the roof, blows it off. He falls off the roof. His family sues you and your insurance company denies the claim because you didn't ask them if they wanted to accept that liability. And guess what? You're homeless. They got your home. You lost your million dollar home. And what are you going to do? These are the things why you call Roof Life of Oregon. We're licensed. We're bonded. We're insured. Our guys are like those billy goats in the Deschutes River. They are so used to being on a sloped environment. We follow all the safety procedures and we're used to getting on and off a ladder. A funny thing is people see me, I'm not a small man, uh, um, but I'm not that a large of a man either, but I'm like 270 pounds and they're thinking, wow, you are gonna get on my roof, but I am a granddad of a billy goat. I am so used to climbing on roofs at a slope and getting on and off the ladder and focusing on that transition that I have only fallen twice in 33 years. And it was never from a ladder transition. It was always, I was up helping the guys apply treatment. I was working with the team and boy, I stepped on the side of my boot on a steep roof and off I went and it was scary. I just picked myself up and got back up there. And uh, pretty soon the fear went back away because I am a billy goat by heart. I'm just, that's what I do. And so, my whole point to this is be super, super 
put a lot more value on your quality of life before you decide to go up on your roof and attack uh, a self-do uh, roof service. Number one, it won't last very long. You can't get the products that we can get. You won't get it as clean as we can get it. You don't have any warranty. You don't have any guarantee of anything. And you stand a high chance of losing a limb, a leg, a head, or a quality of life. It's just not worth it. And that's my inside scoop on the do-it-yourselfers, the downside of doing it yourself.